Good morning. Good morning. Once again, please, everybody, with a good, very good smile, let the world not realize that IIT Madras, BTECs are, you know, unhappy before lunch. Okay, they are as happy before lunch as after it, right? Okay, please. So once again, good morning. Good morning, sir. Right, we will. We, we are, you know, going to continue all of this month and part of the next month with practice in the pronunciation of English. So, the song we had yesterday was in a certain sense beginning, you know, we are trying to get the rhythm and it is very important for the pronunciation of any language that you get the rhythm right, okay, is part of the pronunciation, you know. And the rhythm in any language is made up of only very simple one or two things. Number one, at the speed at which you speak, tempo. And I have been trying to tell you, I have been telling you, please speak slowly, slow enough, comfortably and with pauses. You noticed yesterday that though it have, may have, the entire song may have had only one sentence, all I want is a room somewhere, one sentence, not the entire song the entire line, but then there is a pause. Where is the pause in the first line? After one, all I want and similarly, you know, when you get to the lots of, come on, give it to me. Lots of chocolate for me to eat. Okay. This is the rhythm, you know, you give some sounds length, some other sounds do not get length somewhere you pause, somewhere you do not pause. Okay? This is what we have to learn. All of us, God has, nature has given us the ability, the sense to recognize where we should take a pause. Okay? Sometimes we may make mistakes, but you know that is where you need help, you need some training. And what I am doing, going to do now is trying to help you get that training. You can train yourself into listening and recognizing pause when others speak, so that when you speak, you take right pause at the right place. Am I clear to you? I am going to play to you today a politician's speech, a leader's speech. I am sure you are familiar with the text. Okay? You may or may not have heard the voice, I am not too sure. But try and recognize the pause. Okay? And when I ask you to write, you can put strokes before or after the words where you notice pause. Am I clear? Yes. Am I clear to you? Yes, sir. Everybody, please. Yes, sir. Okay? Relax, sit with your back to the bench okay? and listen and concentrate. Maybe you can close your eyes if you like. Long years ago, we made a tryst with destiny, and now the time comes when we shall redeem our pledge. How many pauses in the first line? What are those? After, ago, After destiny. destiny. <coughs> now we made a tryst pledge. Okay. You are familiar with the text, aren't you? Who has spoken this? Whose speech is this? Jawaharlal. Who was he? Yes, serious. Who was he? First Prime Minister of India. Share it on your bench. Okay. When did he die? Did he die? When? When did he die? No idea? My God, make a guess roughly, when did he die? Share it. When did he die? Just copy the first para on your notebook and mark his stresses. Copy the first para. Since you sing, sang very well yesterday, you will get a copy. Who else sang very well? Make a claim. You sang very well. 
who else sang very well yesterday? You sang well, you did. Who else sang very well yesterday? You did sir? Yeah. Who else? You sang very well. Okay. Who else? Make a claim. You know, who sang very well yesterday? You did? I found it, yes. Did you? Okay. Others please copy the first paragraph from your text. Okay. Right. What I am going to do is I am going to play it again. Can you are you with me? Can you hear me? Can I have your attention please? I am going to play the same speech again. All you have to do is in the first paragraph alone mark strokes to indicate all those places where Nehru takes a pause. Am I clear to you? Yes, yes or no everybody please? Yes, sir. Sure? Do you have right? Please listen and mark stress. Sorry, mark pauses. Not fully or in full measure, but very substantially. Since long years ago, we made a test with destiny, and now the time comes when we shall redeem our pledge. Not fully or in full measure, but very substantially. At the stroke of the midnight hour, when the world sleeps, India will awake to life and freedom. Okay. A moment comes, which comes but rarely in history, when we step out from the old to the new, when an age ends, and when the soul of a nation, long suppressed, finds utterance. It is fitting that at this solemn moment we take the pledge of dedication to the service of India and her people and to the still larger cause of human. Okay. I'll give you a minute, mark pauses. Ready? I'll ask you to read it loud. Okay. Can I ask you at the last bench to read it aloud with pauses as Nehru did it? Long In full voice. Yeah. We made a tryst with destiny. And now the time comes when we shall redeem our pledge, not wholly or in full measure, but very substantially. At the stroke of the midnight hour, when the world sleeps, India will awake to life and freedom. Thank you. Very well done. Very good, really. Next bench, somebody please. Yes. Somebody from the next bench. Yes, please. Can you stand up? Hold the script and do it with full voice. A moment comes, which comes but rarely in history, when we step out from the old to the new, when an age ends, and when the soul of a nation, long suppressed, finds utterance. It is fitting that at this solemn moment, we take the pledge of dedication to the service of India and her people and to the still larger cause of humanity. Yeah, your pauses are okay, but you know you didn't put the what I would like to call voice or enthusiasm or enthu, you know, put in, you know, act it out. Next bench please, do it with the first paragraph beginning. Long years, <coughs> long years ago we made a tryst with destiny and now the time comes when we shall redeem our pledge not wholly but or in full measure but very substantially at the stroke of the midnight hour when the world sleeps india will awake to life and freedom 
Okay, thank you. Good. Well done. Next bench. Somebody please. Yes. A moment comes, which comes but rarely in history, when we step out from the old to the new, when an age ends, and when the soul of a nation, long suppressed, finds utterance. It is fitting that at this solemn moment, we take the pledge of dedication to the service of India and her people and to the still larger cause of humanity. Okay, thank you. Uh, you know, th this is page, I, I took only the first paragraph, the voice. What I want you to do now is to look at the next two, three paragraphs. You can, these people, you know, my friends in the center can look at the second paragraph, you can look at the third, you can look at the fourth. Okay. Mark pauses and I am going to ask you to speak imagining as Nehru did it. Is that all right? Okay. Do you understand the task please? Yes or no? Right. Do it. You use your pencil, mark pauses, do some silent practice and I am going to ask you to uh, speak with voice and pauses. Do not take longer than 2 minutes. Use your pencil. Aparna, use your pencil. I am going to ask you to imagine you are Nehru and read it aloud. You have a good voice. Do some practice. Okay. Shall we come together? Wherever you have doubts about stresses, please look up your dictionary. Wherever you have doubts about which part of a particularly long word is stressed, look up your where is your dictionary? Pull it out. Where is your dictionary? Well, you know. Uh, the camera will record you, other, uh, record me, otherwise I wanted to say murder you. No dictionary with you? Do not forget, please. Tomorrow I am going to ask you whether you brought it, otherwise I would not say. I would say do not come in. Check all the long words, you know, make sure. You can borrow it from friends. Get into the habit of, you know, get into the habit of checking with the source, check the pronunciation of long words, check where the stresses are. Okay. Do you have a dictionary? Uh, that give it to me, I will give it to the orphanage, that is now old, it is like your shirt in class 6. Do you have a dictionary? My, bring it from tomorrow okay. and uh, borrow somebody else's dictionary. Check get correct pronunciation, particularly of long words. Remember to bring your own dictionary tomorrow and all other days. What paragraph is yours? Third fourth from the top.
ready sure ready okay ready ready sita are you ready are you ready okay shall we right so who is doing the second stand, second paragraph you are doing the second paragraph right at the dawn of history everybody please we will pay attention now we'll come back into the group and once again we'll go back to the individual work but at the moment we'll try and hear our friend is that all right yes, sir. and you may if you don't agree with the way our friend pauses or stresses a word put a mark there i am going to ask you if you have any differences of opinion do you understand me sure okay so pay attention your eyes to the text your ears to your friend's voice come on now at the dawn of history india started on her unending quest and trackless centuries are filled with her striving and the grandeur of her success and her failures through good and ill fortune alike she has never lost sight of that quest of forgotten the ideals which gave her strength we end today a period of ill fortune and india discovers herself again the achievement we celebrate today is but a step an opening of opportunity to the greater triumphs and achievements that await us are we brave enough and wise enough to grasp this opportunity and accept the challenge of the future thank you or oh, can you check the pronunciation of the word o p p o r t u n i t y what is it how do you pronounce this word o p p o r you know one day i am going to have a look the look up the dictionary competition 10 words 2 minutes whoever does it first how is it pronounced opportunity what is it opportunity what is it opportunity opportunity okay right anyone else who from this group who would like to do it anyone else again would you like to do it would you like to do it would you like to do it okay please the same paragraph at the dawn of history india started on her unending quest and trackless centuries are filled with her striving and the grandeur of her success and her failures thank you sit down next somebody next sentence somebody else from this group right please through good and ill fortune alike she has never lost alike it's a long word yeah alike. yeah she has never lost sight of that quest or forgotten the ideals which gave her strength we end today a period of ill fortune and india discovers herself again thank you anyone else in this group the next two sentences yes yes no you have to begin with the achievement okay take your time next would you like to do it please the achievement we celebrate today go slowly the achievement we celebrate today yeah is but a step an opening of opportunity the greater trans and achievements for the debaters are we brave enough and wise enough to grasp this opportunity and ask accept the challenge of the future thank you okay uh, let's go to the next group what what paragraph did you do third paragraph so one of you please that feature is not hold the script in your hand okay and look towards most of your listeners turn this way maybe you can stand in the aisle yes now 
that future is not one of ease or resting, but of incessant striving, so that we may fulfill the pledges we have so often taken and the one we shall take today. Thank you. Next, you can do the next sentence. <coughs> the service of India means the service of the millions who suffer. It means the ending of poverty and ignorance and disease and inequality of opportunity. Thank you. Next. Ambition of the greatest man. Go slow. The ambition of the greatest man of our generation has been to wipe every tear from every eye. It may be behind us, but as long as they are here and suffering, so long our work will not be over. Thank you. You can do the same paragraph. That future is not one of ease or resting, but of incessant striving, so that we may fulfill the pleasures we have so often taken and the one we shall take today. <coughs> the service of India means the service of the millions who suffer. Thank you. Re remaining lines in that paragraph. It means the ending of poverty and ignorance and disease and inequality of opportunity. 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 Okay. The ambition of the greatest man of our generation has been to wipe every tear from every eye. That may be beyond us, but as long as there are tears and suffering, so long our work will not be over. Okay, you can do this. the first two lines. That future is not of ease or rest, but of in incessant striving, so that we can we may fulfill the pledges we we have so often taken, and the ones we shall take today. The service of India means the service of millions who suffer. Thank you. Aparna, do the remaining lines. It means the ending of poverty and ignorance and disease and the inequality of opportunity. Go slowly, more slowly. Yeah. The ambition of the greatest man yes. of our generation has been to wipe every tear from every eye. That may be beyond us, but as long as there are tears and suffering, <laughs> so long our work will not be over. You may have noticed that Nehru is, speaks with much greater ease. It takes time to deliver you know, each phrase. Okay. That future is not one of ease or resting, but the in incessant striving, so that we may fulfill the pledges we have so taken, so often taken, and the one we shall take today. The service of India means the service of the millions who suffer. Thank you. Okay, let's do the next paragraph. What did you do? Fourth. 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 Please. And so, we Shall have we to please labor. listen? Yeah. Shall we please pay attention? Mark, you know, when your friends speak, <coughs> they deserve your attention. <coughs> Use your pencil to see if they are doing it the way you would like to do it. Please. And so, we have to labor and to work and work hard to give reality to our dreams. Those dreams are for India, but they are also for the world. For all the nations and peoples are too closely knit together today for any one of them to imagine that it can live apart. Peace has been said to be indivisible. So is freedom. So is prosperity now. And so also is disaster in this one world that can no longer be split into isolated fragments. Okay, I'll come back to you guys uh, again. <clears throat> I want you to pick up your book, okay? Uh, look at look at page number 58, okay? Does everyone here have a copy of the book? Okay, you can take one from me. One, do you have a copy? Anyone who does not have a copy? Please, no copy on the bench? 
why not you neither have dictionary nor the book tomorrow bring both okay right okay you have access to uh, you have something on this bench okay right look at page number 58 okay and i have marked pauses there kindly read them with pauses Next, that is the down. Need the fear no fall. All that triggers is not gold. I came, I saw, I conquered. John Major, the Prime Minister of Britain, is the son of a circus artist. All students of all this class. Want to have a better spoken English? Can you help me, sir? I am really sorry, but I cannot accept your application now. Come tomorrow, please. Where there is a will, there is a way. No, thanks. I would like to, but I have some assignments to do. Long, Long years, years ago, we had a trust with the justice. Friends, Romans, and countrymen, I have come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. I have a dream that one day, sons of former slaves and sons of former slave owners shall sit together. Okay, just wait. i want to draw your attention to some theoretical stuff and then you know we'll get into practice again in each group as we pause in each group of words as we pause some words are more prominently marked prominently stressed the another say for example in the first line of nehru's speech the long is prominent in that group long years ago okay it does not say long years ago does it say that does nehru say that he say long years ago the long is prominent okay maybe in in the next group what is the most prominent word we made a trust with destiny okay so words like trust words like this but when you have a long word okay when you have a word like what is this destiny which part of this word is more prominently stressed destiny. it has three parts what are those parts destiny Des Des we in the grammar of english call it syllables every language has words which are organized in yes. syllables syllables organize get into larger group call word we'll talk more about it later but one of these syllables there are three syllables here one of these syllables is most prominently stressed what syllable is that des so how do we pronounce it des okay in india in many of our languages we have very or you know relatively speaking we have very little difference between the stressed part and unstressed part okay we have limited difference between stressed part and unstressed part we do not say patshala do we say that we say patshala okay but in english you know they stressed we don't say vishwavidyalaya do we say that but in, in english they say university in the very similarly you know here des is given prominence so in english are you with me in english the stressed syllable is very prominent please write in stressed syllables in in english particularly in long words 
stressed syllable is very prominent. How do you pronounce it? Destiny. How do you have to pronounce it? Destiny. Okay. Let us look at some other words. There is another word here from Nehru's speech. What is this? Redeem. This is hardly heard. This is hardly heard. It is reduced. It is very short. R okay. But the other thing is long. How do you pronounce it? Redeem. Okay. Can you underline all the long words on your notebook? Sorry, in the in the in Nehru's speech that I gave you, and then you. I am going to ask you to tell me the stresses. I am going to write them here. Okay. Okay. You do not have to look at the entire text, take any one or two paragraph. First, let us do this. How do you pronounce this? Yes. Here? Redeem. Not be, do not be in a hurry. Once again, how do you do it? Redeem. Here? Measure. Measure. Yes. Here? Substantial. Yes. That is great. Here? Midnight. Check Midnight. with your dictionary. Midnight. Check with your check with your dictionary, please. Check with your dictionary. Or I am going to play Nehru and you know, but check with it first. Okay. Long years ago, we made a tryst with destiny, and now the time comes when we shall redeem our pledge, not only or in full measure, but very substantially. At the stroke of the midnight hour, when the world sleeps, it. What does Nehru say? Midnight. At the stroke of the midnight hour. So, stress on mid, midnight. Next, what is it? Freedom. What is this? Moment. Moment. What is this? Moment. 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 It is long. What is this? How does Nehru do it? His sturdy. You know, he also brings this vowel, but you do not have to, not necessary. How do you pronounce it? How do you do it? Nation. How do you do it? Substantial. 
How do you do it? Utterance. Utterance. How do you do it? Dedication. Which part? C A K. Dedication. Okay. Now we'll d we'll divide work among ourselves. You can take uh, the last paragraph on the front page. We have to build the nation. Find long words, bark stresses. Okay, work in groups together. You can take the one, two, three, fourth paragraph on the front page, and you can take the third paragraph on the front page. See, mark, check long words, check all the long, long words, and mark stresses. And you have only two minutes, please. Not long, only two minutes. Which paragraph did you get? Right, yes. Yeah. Work in groups, please. Working groups. Okay, over, finished, Aparna, finished, finished, lovely, finished, finished, have you completed, finished, not yet, God, just one little paragraph, okay. Only look at, only look at the long words and mark the stressed part there. No more. Okay, finished. Right. Finished. Finished. Okay. Right. Uh, finished. Right. Can you tell me, give me the list of words with the stresses. No, you have spoken, you have spoken, but your friend hasn't spoken. Can you give me the list of words? Okay. Can we please come together? Can we please come to, I'm again asking, I'm going to again ask you to go back to individual work. But let's please. Future, incessant, striving. Which paragraph is that? Third, Third paragraph. Third on the first page, yes. Go on. Ignorance. Yes. Equality. Yes. Ambition. 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 Yes. Next. Generation. Yes. Opportunity. Yes. Good. Oh, what about B E O B E Y O N D? Beyond. Beyond. Okay. Give it time. Any other word? that my friend has missed in that paragraph? Ease. 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 Develop. Okay. Uh, what paragraph did you do? Fourth. 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 Okay. Uh, who from your group hasn't spoken? You haven't spoken yet. Please. Give me all the stressed words from the fourth paragraph. Tell me. Labor. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. Indivisible. Yes. Prosperity. Prosperity. Disaster. Yeah. Fractions. Okay. Lovely. 
how about I S O L A T E D? How do you did you check with the dictionary? Isolated. Check once again. Okay. What paragraph? Uh, you have spoken. You have spoken. You haven't spoken, have you? Okay, please give me the list of words. Okay, which paragraph? Fifth, please. Yeah, do it loud. Can we please come together? Thank you very much. You know, if, um, if we had time, we could have included everyone else. The point I am making is next time you speak, you know, you will have a fair idea of the long words that are going to be there in your presentation, in your speech, in your utterance. Try and get right stresses on these words. Okay? I am going to give you the last test and then we will break for today. Uh, look at the exercise part of your chapter, the same chapter, but come to the exercises. Okay. Same chapter, which page, what page number is that? 15. Exercises? 15. 15. 6 0, right. Do you have exercises there? Okay. Take a quick look at all those sentences. Take a particularly good look at number 10 and 12. Okay. And I am going to randomly ask any one of you to read it aloud with proper pauses, proper stresses. Correct? Page number 60 and 61, there you have exercise there. I have not marked pauses there. I have neither marked stresses there. Okay. I expect you to read from sentence number 1 to, sorry, exercise number 1 to 12. Okay. Take a quick look at all the other exercises but exercise number 10, 11 and 12, give it a good look and see how you would like to do it. And then I will ask one of you to begin it. I will give you exactly 2 minutes to look through the entire text, particularly use time to look at number 10, 11 and 12. If it is your book, you can use a pencil mark. Okay. Right. Can you begin with uh, number one, please? Or you can begin. Number one. May I come in, sir? Okay. Number two. Can you wait a little, please? Number three. Please come together. Do you mind? Coming tomorrow at the same time, sir. Thank you. Next, please. Can you give me titles of some books on this subject, sir? Next, number five. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. Six. Yeah. What is the time by your watch? Seven. 
given an opportunity, there are many people who would want to go to school. Hey. <coughs> I agree. Bring you. So you can share, and I will bring you. Will you, madam, marry me? No, I'm. The king is ready. Tell me, I will speak. When you are. Tell. <coughs> Recent suggests that a large number of crimes are committed by people in the weaker movement. Go more slowly. Yes. Either when they are. Either. Either when they are too angry, That's as good. before orders or ridicule, too depressed, as before suicide, or too pressed for money, as before pity death. Okay, Aman. Or continue. <coughs> or forgery. Or too overpowered by sexual urge as before committing rape. As remedy, therefore, it is suggested that society must emphasize the importance of education in patience and self discipline. Pun Wait. Yeah. Punishing the criminals, <coughs> it is said, is like removing the symptoms, not the cause. Go slowly, more slowly. Number 10, again. Research <coughs> suggests that a large number of crimes are committed by people in their weaker moments, either when they are Take too time. angry, either. either when they are too angry, as before murders of relatives, relatives, relatives too depressed, as before, uh, as before suicides, or too pressed for money, as before petty thefts, okay. As before petty thefts or forgery, or too overpowered by, sexu by sexual urge, as before committing rape. As remedy, therefore, it is suggested that society must emphasize the importance of education in patience and self-discipline. Thank you. Next sentence. Punishing the criminals, it is said is. It is said. It is said is like removing the symptoms, not the cause. Can you do number 12, please? The first Prime Minister of India, the late Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, was very particular. People should speak every language the way, it is, the way it should be spoken. He said that many British and American people found our English difficult to understand because of its rapid speed of eloquence. Okay, I don't think we can go through all of it today. But uh, may I strongly suggest, you know, the exercise here and, you know, randomly I have, you know, given you the numbers, you know, you can, you know, one, two, three, you know, your own telephone numbers, your postal code numbers. Can you make a list of these things and do some practice? Next time, you know, at the next presentation. The next, your third cycle of presentation. I will pay attention to his stresses and pauses, you know, and you will have marks to gain or lose for these features of English pronunciation. I will also pay attention to uh, the way you tell me your roll number, okay. So, learn to produce these utterances with proper pause, proper stretch, then that can come only through practice. In this book, I have given you some exercises but you can go beyond and do them on your own. Do you have any questions? Thank you. Have a good day.